Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. It's about that time. We are getting into another meal prep video. Let me just put this out there. Right now, you guys can expect meal preps every other week because I've only been eating twice a day, so it's like two recipes per week and I feel like might as well just give you four or five recipes in one video. So just expect them every other week. In this video, I am going to feature four recipes plus my protein coffee recipe because you guys were super interested in the comments section i'm gonna throw at you two breakfasts like i think we're a breakfast girly not that i really like to eat breakfast in the morning but i don't really have a choice at this point but now since i have to get creative with breakfast since i've got to eat earlier in the day i'm gonna be giving you guys some breakfast so in this video i'm sharing two breakfasts one is a baked oatmeal with a mixed berry filling i really thought i outdid myself you guys can let me know in the comments what you think but i thought this dish was literally chef's kiss like it just looked beautiful it didn't take that long to make it was so good that i actually think i'm gonna make it in my next meal prep and just like switch up the fruit and make it in bulk because one was just not enough the next breakfast meal i'm going to be making is a breakfast sandwich it's super super basic but if you know me okay those who know know that i have this starbucks obsession i don't even know what the word is for it but i always 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 get the turkey bacon egg white and cheddar sandwich on an english muffin i love them but the way they're like four dollars on the starbucks menu no we're making them in the house from now on and they were probably better than the ones that i got at starbucks i'm gonna make a little copycat starby sandwich and then my two other recipes you can have them for lunch you can have them for dinner just whatever you want first thing i'm making some turkey burgers with some caramelized onions you guys have seen me make turkey burgers on my channel before but i'm just revamping them and bringing them back because they're that good and then the last recipe i'm throwing at you today is a super super quick and when i tell you quick like six seven minutes quick chicken fried rice with an egg on top i got the chicken fried rice from trader joe's we don't have to reinvent the wheel okay don't feel like you gotta do it all okay there's nothing wrong with taking the shortcut i lead a busy lifestyle as a teacher and a content creator so sometimes i just don't have a lot of time to spend making elaborate dishes but i love that and i'm probably gonna start including more of those like shortcut meals because i could stick to that okay i can really stick to that my disclaimer is here on the screen you already know the drill take a moment to pause and read and before i get out of your way at the end of each dish that i prepare for you guys i posted in the recipe and the macros all in one document at the end of each recipe so if you want to screenshot the recipe so that you have it i also will link it down below in pdf form if you guys are interested i know i need to be better about actually just giving the recipes i do put them on the screen but maybe people miss them so this time it's like a whole pdf document you can screenshot it on your screen at the end of each recipe or or you can just click the link down below in my description but without further ado let's get into this meal prep all right so let's get into breakfast number one i'm making these berry berry filled baked oats whatever you want to call it mixed berry baked oats something like that and these are all the ingredients you need some oats frozen blueberries fresh raspberries almond milk a banana some honey baking powder of course we need some cinnamon because you know i use copious amounts of that and then also some vanilla and some salt So to begin, I'm just going to take some of my frozen berries and the fresh berries, add a little bit of water, and we're going to cook them down until they are this like thick, almost like pie filling consistency. We're gonna mash up the berries as much as we can. I just allowed them to cook on the stove for about eight to 10 minutes and that pretty much did the job. I didn't add anything else at this time, just allowing the heat to do what it does and then we'll move on to the next part. Now that the filling is super thick, I'm gonna add a little drizzle of honey, about a tablespoon, and I'm gonna take it off the heat and allow it to cool while preparing my oatmeal base. Now I'm going to use my oats. I use the quick one minute oats for this. I just find that it's easier and they're a lot softer so it doesn't take too much to blend them. But use whatever oats you have. So I'm using some oats, half of a banana, about a half a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You can use oat milk, whatever you got girl, use it. I'm going to use 
two teaspoons of cinnamon or a whole teaspoon of cinnamon. I thought I used two, but I used two of the one halves. Anyway, recipe at the end. I'm gonna use some baking powder, a little bit of salt. I always get the question why I add salt to my oatmeal and it's just to offset all of the sweetness that the fruit is gonna provide. And I'm gonna put it in the Nutribullet and let it do its thing. It's just so aesthetic just looking at it. And here's the moment that I forgot or that I realized that I forgot to put some vanilla in there. So I'm just going to take it off, put some vanilla in, blend it up, and now we're just going to add it into this cute little ramekin. You can purchase these at Target. I purchased mine from Amazon. They're down below in my Amazon storefront. And I'm gonna go ahead and put three quarters of the batter at the bottom, spoon in that berry filling, top it off with the rest of the oat batter, and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 22 to 25 minutes. Now that our oatmeal is baked, oh my gosh, look at her, she's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna allow her to sit off the heat off the stove while I make my protein coffee because they were asking for the recipe. So I'm using the Trader Joe's Instant Cold Brew Coffee and I just put about like a quarter cup to a half a cup of water. It's more like a quarter of a cup because I want it to be a little bit strong. I put two and a half teaspoons of the coffee in there and then I'm going to use 11 ounces of the Premier Protein Shake in the flavor of vanilla, add some ice and and that's my protein coffee. Sometimes I like to throw a little bit of coffee creamer in there, but I didn't have any. So this is what it was. So I am going to be having this for breakfast. My oats provided no protein really, but the coffee is going to take care of that. And we love, love, love a good texture shot. Look at her. Just, oh, y'all are going to love this recipe. I truly enjoyed this i'm definitely gonna be making these in bulk so probably on my next meal prep i'll probably do another one like this but we'll switch the fruit up moving right along into our next breakfast meal are we a breakfast girly now is that what we are? I don't know, new year, new us. So I'm making some quick and easy knockoff Starbucks, not knockoff, but like Starbucks duped sandwiches, I guess. I usually get the turkey, bacon, egg white, and cheddar English muffin at Starbucks, but like Starbucks can no longer keep getting my money every other day. So we're gonna make them in the kitchen and they're very, very easy to make. All you need are some eggs, turkey bacon, some cheddar cheese, and of course some English muffins, and that's it. Go on ahead and crack your eggs. I'm frying mine over over medium with some salt and pepper. You could definitely stay true to the sandwich and use egg whites, but I didn't have them, so we're using what I had on hand. And I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these eggs. Look at this next one. Oof, oof, replay, terrible. Yeah, sorry. I mean, it still tasted good, but anyway, I'm moving on to opening up two of my English muffins. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a fork to open them up. You can use your fingers, you can use a knife. I just had a fork on hand. And I'm just going to place them on a baking sheet lined with some foil because that's easy, easy cleanup. And who has time for dishes? Not me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place my egg and then half a slice of the cheddar cheese on each slice. And I'm gonna pop it under the broiler for like literally two minutes. Don't walk away or they will burn. Burn. trust me they will then I'm just frying up some turkey bacon just two pieces and I'm gonna add two small pieces to each sandwich top it off with some sriracha because I didn't have hot sauce but either one is really really good and then I'm just gonna pop them on a plate and that is breakfast number two on to one of my absolute favorite dishes this recipe is something that I use like at least once a month but we're making some turkey burgers filled with veggies so I'm gonna start by chopping up pretty finely half of a red onion followed by a whole jalapeno you will see that I keep the ribs and seeds in one half of the jalapeno but then I'm like you know what we want to kind of enjoy it and not have our mouths be on fire so I remove the ribs and seeds from the other side and I'm just going to finally mince up the jalapeno I really just like the jalapeno for a little bit of spice and for the green color that it gives and then finally I'm going to chop three quarters of a red Oh my gosh, literally not red. An orange bell pepper. You can just enjoy me chopping the rest of these veggies and then we'll move on to the actual mixture. Now 
moving on to our turkey burger mixture. I have one pound of 99% lean ground turkey. I picked mine up from Trader Joe's. And then I'm adding about a cup of red onion, a cup of orange bell pepper. Why do I wanna keep saying red? A quarter of a cup of jalapeno, two tablespoons of garlic powder, and then the seasonings that are on the screen. Mix really, really well. You know we season with love, so there's not like an actual measurement for each seasoning, but just season with your heart. To go on top of our turkey burgers, I am making some super caramelized onions. And they're super caramelized onions because I feel like they took super, super long. But so worth it, so very much worth it. I'm just going to thinly slice two white onions and then I'm going to pop them in a nonstick skillet over medium heat and saute them in two tablespoons of olive oil. You don't have to use olive oil, but it just works for me. I know people like to use butter. I don't like butter, so I'm not using it. I'm just going to cook these on the stove, low and slow, for literally the next like 20 minutes, okay? Season to your liking. These are the seasonings that I am using. Again, season with your heart. You know, we just we just lead with our heart in the kitchen on this channel, okay? We are just a free seasoning stand over here. And I'm just going to let these do what they do. And while they're cooking down, I'm gonna move right onto my turkey burger. So I formed really large patties, four large patties. And I'm just going to form them and then put little dents in the center so that they cook completely. If anybody's wondering why I just stuck my finger in the middle of that turkey burger. And then we're going to cook them until they're completely done on both sides. They look a little bit dark, but I prefer a little bit of color on mine. So you don't have to cook them that long on each side, but that's just what I do. Then once the majority of the onions have cooked down or the water has been released from the onions, I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of some Dijon mustard and then allow them to continue to cook. And then you don't have to add it, but I did follow up with a little bit of honey just for an extra little bit of sweetness and a pinch of cayenne. And that's the onion and baby, they did not disappoint. Of course, you know I had to show you how I'm assembling it. So I'm taking three super large romaine hearts and I'm just going to top it off with one of the turkey burgers and pile on the onions like pile them on okay when you think there's enough there just add more then i'm adding a little bit of spicy mustard because if you can't tell i am a mustard fanatic and that's the turkey burger <music> For the final meal, y'all, this had to be my favorite thing because it literally took me seven minutes. I kid you not, seven minutes, don't reinvent the wheel. We are making chicken fried rice with some broccoli and a little bit of egg on top to make it look just a little bit fancy. So I just took a cup of some steamed broccoli that I absolutely steamed in the microwave, added a serving and a half of the Trader Joe's chicken fried rice and added some coconut amitos to give it some extra flavor and just to give the mixture some moisture so that it would hurry up and cook. And then I'm gonna put it in a little bowl and I'm gonna like mold it to the bowl you'll see why in a little bit then we're gonna fry an egg on top you can fry it however you like but me personally I like to fry it pretty hard medium hard something like that I don't like the yolk to be runny and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so that the egg steams and that's basically it we're just going to plate it put some sriracha and some black sesame seeds on top and that's it please don't laugh at my too small lid okay y'all I'm gonna get there and do you see how quick this meal came together baby you do not have to reinvent the wheel just go get you some frozen fried rice and call it a day and like look at her chef's kiss quality 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 recipe here so this is going to conclude this week's meal prep video if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and share also be sure to turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video and until next time babes I'll see you in my next mm -hmm.